For my experiment, we measured the effect of turbidity on the amount of hydroelectric output. We would dump water into our reservoir, and then the water would come out of the penstock and onto the turbine. As the turbine spins, it, it is attached to a generator, and the red and black wires are attached to this multimeter, which we use to measure the amount of millivolts that the water produces. The material used for the independent variable was natural ceramic clay. It was weighed in one pound blocks on a postal scale. I put one pound of clay and five gallons of water in each bucket and increased the amount of clay by one pound for the next trials. I used an electric drill with a paint mixer attachment to stir the clay into a solution and keep it in suspension. We marked and filled the reservoir at 5 gallons and slowly poured the remaining 5 gallons into the reservoir to keep the pressure level the same during the trial. After spinning the turbine, the solution was emptied into a pail, which we reused in the next trial. As the turbine spun and produced energy through a generator, I recorded the highest and lowest amount of millivolts produced. After running a total of 10 trials for each variable and recording the results, I discovered that the more clay that was added to the water, the more energy that was produced. My conclusion is that since clay is denser than water, adding more clay increases the mass of the solution, spins the turbine faster, and creates more energy.